2023 Hero of the Year, George A. Calagrino. <laughs> Savon, and thank you everyone for that nice accolade. I'm grateful, I'm honored, and I must admit, I disagree with you. <laughs> While I love this recognition, I believe the real hero of this year's Academy, or any year's Academy, is not me. It's the parent, it's the grandparent, it's the aunt or uncle, the neighbor, the teacher, the pastor, it's the mentor, right, who inspired each streamer. 100. So just to clear my conscience, dreamers, could you please look to the person who brought you and on the count of three say you're my hero? Okay, let's go. One, two, three. You're my hero. Thank you. I feel much better now. A question you've heard frequently this week is, what's your why? So let me explain why I feel called to help the Disney Dreamers Academy. There are two reasons. The first reason is because I can. We are each blessed with talents, some God-given, some cultivated. Part of the purpose of life is discovering how to use those talents, not only to better yourself, but to elevate others. My career has been one of service and leadership, and those two elements harmonize perfectly with the purpose of this academy. The second reason is because if you roll back the clock a little over half a century, you would find me, 17 years old, dividing my time between a classroom and this extraordinary place we call Walt Disney World. Like you, I soon learned that part of the purpose of study is to discover yourself. Then, as now, people fascinated me, and I was a sociology major. My brother and I shared a car, and I would work my shift at Disney, and then drive across town to the university to take my classes. At first, Disney was a means to an end, a way to work my way through school. But soon I was promoted. I became a server, interacting with guests, and I loved the opportunity to exceed their expectations, to help them build memories that could last a lifetime. When I earned my degree and I was offered my first leadership role, I realized that there was not another company on earth where I could use my strengths as effectively as I could here. I belonged at Disney, and the company I joined at age 17 became the company I would retire from more than half a century later. Over the past few days, you've learned. Thank you. Over the past few days, you've learned about attractions and entertainment and immersive experiences. We've given you a taste of how we make this the most magical place on earth. And if you found that fascinating, we're pleased. But beyond the subject matter, I hope you've also thought about how deeply about the strengths that you are discovering within yourself, about the things in life that bring you the deepest joy. I hope you've sensed, at least to some extent, the direction in which your heart wishes to lead you. You are dreamers. So let me ask you something. Who here has found themselves dreaming this week of who or what they may become? Who thinks they may have found a glimpse in their future? Raise your hand if that's you. There you go. I see those hands all around the room. And so do your coaches. And so do your mentors. And that is wonderful. Because you know what? All week long, they have also been dreaming about you. 
Thank you again to the Disney Dreamers Academy for this honor. Again, I'm not sure I deserve it, but I will forever treasure it.